Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we shall study the concept of coordinate plane, ordered pairs, sign of numbers in ordered pairs, their location in coordinate plane and its reflection across one or both axes. First of all, let us discuss the meaning of ordered pair. Now let us consider a relation y is equal to x plus 1. Now here if we put any value of x, then we will get the corresponding value of y. That is, here x is the input and y is the output. Now, for x is equal to 0, we get y is equal to, now, in this equation, we will put x is equal to 0. So, we will get y is equal to 0 plus 1, which is equal to 1. Now, again, take any other value of x. That is, for x is equal to 1, we get y is equal to 1 plus 1, that is 2. Now, for x is equal to 2, we get y is equal to 2 plus 1, that is 3. So, the values of input x and output y can be written in terms of pair input output that is x y that is the ordered pair x y which means we can write these values in terms of pairs that is the pair of input output now here input is 0 output is 1 so these values can be written as the pair 0 1 and here it will be the pair 1 2 and for these values of x and y we will have the pair 2 3 so these points that is all these points are called the ordered pairs where the input is the x coordinate and output is the y coordinate. So we can write that any point of the form AB that is the pair AB is an ordered pair where A corresponds to the x coordinate and B corresponds to the y coordinate. Now let us discuss the concept of coordinate plane. Now consider an ordered pair A, B and we know that every ordered pair has two coordinates where A corresponds to the x coordinate and B corresponds 
to the y coordinate we can locate these points that is we can locate these ordered pairs on a graph paper by forming a coordinate plane now in a coordinate plane there are two axes that is x axis and y axis now for locating the point a b on the graph we take the x coordinate that is a on the x axis and y coordinate that is b on the y axis now let us see how to form a coordinate plane on a graph now for locating the coordinate plane on the graph in the first step we will draw a horizontal line with the sign of arrows on both ends on the graph paper So here we have drawn a horizontal line with a sign of arrows on both ends on a graph paper and now we will label this line as the x axis Now we will draw a vertical line with the sign of arrows on both ends intersecting the horizontal line perpendicularly and we will name this vertical line as the y axis and the point of intersection of both the axes is called the origin and we will write zero at this point now at the origin the x and y coordinates are zero that is the x coordinate is also zero and y coordinate is also zero at the origin now on both x and y axis we will write the integers at a distance of 1 unit on the graph just like a number line so we have written the integers on both the x and y axis and on the x axis we will write the negative integers on the left of 0 and the positive integers on the right of 0 that is the origin similarly on the y axis we will write the negative numbers below 0 and the positive numbers above 0 at the same distance here yeah. the distance between the points should be equal and thus this is the required coordinate plane in which we have both the x and y axis which are intersecting each other at the origin and here you can also see from the graph that the two axes divide the coordinate plane in four regions called the quadrants and here this is called the first quadrant this is called the second quadrant this is called the third quadrant and this is called the fourth quadrant so we can write that a coordinate plane is formed by the intersection of a horizontal number line
and a vertical number line these number lines intersect at the origin and separate the coordinate plane into four regions which are called quadrants now let us discuss the signs of numbers in ordered pairs now we have four types of ordered pairs now in the first type we have a pair in which both x and y coordinates are positive for example the ordered pair 2 3 as here both the x and the y coordinates are positive now in the second type we have a pair in which the x coordinate is positive whereas the y coordinate is negative for example the ordered pair 2 minus 1 now we have the third type in which the x coordinate is negative whereas the y coordinate is positive for example the ordered pair minus 2 1 now next is the type 4 in which that is the ordered pair in which both the x and y coordinates are negative for example the ordered pair minus 2 minus 3 now we can have some more ordered pairs in which either the x coordinate is 0 or the y coordinate is 0 and the other coordinate can be positive or negative for example the ordered pair 2 0 and 0 minus 4 now let us locate these points on the coordinate plane now for locating these points on the coordinate plane we will consider the coordinate plane which we have made previously now here in the coordinate plane we have four quadrants now we can locate the ordered pairs according to the signs of the numbers in the given ordered pair now we can see in the graph that in the quadrant 1 both x and the y coordinates are positive and in the quadrant 2 the x coordinate is negative whereas the y coordinate is positive 
In the third quadrant, the x coordinate is negative and here the y coordinate is also negative and in the last quadrant, the x coordinate is positive whereas the y coordinate is negative. Now let us make a table for these ordered pairs. Now in this table, in the first column we have written the ordered pairs and in the second column we will find that in which of the quadrants these ordered pairs will lie. Now first of all, let us locate the point which is represented by the ordered pair 2, 3 on the graph. Now for the ordered pair 2, 3 x coordinate is 2 and y coordinate is 3. Therefore, both of the x and y coordinates are positive. So the order pair 2, 3 will lie in the first quadrant as x and y both are positive. So this is the point 2, 3, which is lying in the first quadrant. So the ordered pair 2, 3 lies in the first quadrant. Now let us take the ordered pair 2, minus 1. Now in this case, the x coordinate is 2, which is positive, and y coordinate is minus 1, which is negative. So here, this orbit pair will lie in the fourth quadrant as in the fourth quadrant the x coordinate is positive and y coordinate is negative. So the ordered pair 2 minus 1 lies in the fourth quadrant. Now let us take the next ordered pair which is minus 2, 1. Now here the x coordinate is minus 2 which is negative and y coordinate is 1 which is positive. Now we know that in the second quadrant we have the x coordinate negative and y coordinate positive. So the ordered pair minus 2, 1 lies in the second quadrant. Now let us take the ordered pair minus 2, minus 3. Now here you can see that the x coordinate is minus 2 which is negative and the y coordinate is minus 3 which is again negative. Now we know that in the third quadrant both x and y coordinates are negative. So the ordered pair minus 2, minus 3 lies in the third quadrant. So the point minus 2, minus 3 lies in the third quadrant. Now the point where the x coordinate is 0, that is the ordered pairs like 0 minus 4 lies on the y-axis and the ordered pairs that is the point where the y coordinate is 0. For example, the ordered pair 2, 0 lies on the x axis. Now let us locate these two points on the graph. Now in the ordered pair 2, 0, the x coordinate is 2. So from the region we will move 2 units to the right on the x axis and we will reach to this point and since the y coordinate is 0 so we will not move up and down any units and this is the point whose coordinates are 
0. And you can see as the y coordinate of this point is 0, so this point lies on the x axis. Similarly, this is the point whose coordinates are 0 minus 4. And here the x coordinate of the given point is 0. So this point lies on the y axis. Now let us discuss the reflection of a point across one or both axes. Now in reflection of a point, the image of the point is at the same distance from the central line or also known as the mirror line. Now here, when we talk about x and y axis as the central lines about which we will find the reflection of the point. Now let us take a point A whose coordinates are 2, 3, on the graph. Now here we can see that x and y coordinates both are positive as this point is lying in the first quadrant. Now suppose we take x axis as the central line that is we take the x axis as the mirror line for the point a, then the reflection of the point A, that is A dash, will lie in the fourth quadrant since the distance of reflection is same from the central line. Therefore, the numbers will be same, only their sign will change according to the quadrant in which the reflection lies. Now here, the distance of A from the central line, that is x-axis, is same as the distance of A dash, which is the reflection of A from the x-axis. So here, the coordinates of A are 2, 3, and its reflection with the central line as x-axis is A dash, whose coordinates are 2, minus 3. Similarly, if we see the reflection of the point A whose coordinates are 2, 3, by taking y axis as the central line, then its reflection point will lie in the second quadrant. That is, we will obtain a point B whose coordinates are minus 2, 3. Therefore, the point B is the reflection of the point A across the y-axis. So in this session we have learnt about the concept of coordinate plane, ordered pairs, sign of numbers in ordered pairs, their location in coordinate plane and its reflection across one or both axes. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.